keep it clean. Hi guys and welcome back to the adventures of Megan and Mike. Today we're going to show you some great places to grab a bite, grab a coffee in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. So if you're traveling to downtown Greenville and you're looking for a place to park, which I know I always am because it's always hard to find a place to park, we parked in the Richardson Street Garage, which is free on the weekends, and if it's free, it's for me. Okay guys, first stop is Coffee Underground. It's a locally owned coffee house here in Greenville. They have homemade desserts, amazing coffee, and the beans are actually roasted in-house. They also serve breakfast and lunch with a super cozy atmosphere. Ironically enough, it's located on the corner of Coffee and Main, which I really like. Um, and just 12 steps down, you'll get into the shop right here in Greenville. And a really fun fact about Coffee Underground that I really like because I have a theater degree is they also have a theater room. Um, they do live stand-up, comedy, improv, they have local songwriters, um, poetry readings, and they have performers from all around the upstate. So I really like that about them. Normally it's really nice in Greenville. You'll notice that we're probably like shivering and it's not like really um, blue out in the sky. Usually we have like beautiful blue skies, the sun is shining and it's a little chilly today. We got some clouds so we we're hoping for better weather for, for you guys today to show you around Greenville but that's okay. We're still gonna have a lot of fun. Now in the words of Lorelai Gilmore, coffee, 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 give it to me an IV. And if you've seen the coffee bar in my house, you'll know I'm serious about my coffee. Let's head on over to Coffee Underground. Disney World and it was really good so now I'm hooked on them. I got what's called the shot in the dark. It's just a coffee with a shot of espresso and I put some caramel in there because I love caramel and I got a hot coffee since it's cold out. Um, I don't know how Mike's gonna drink that espresso outside with how cold it is but I wish him luck. I usually get my frappuccinos from Starbucks and they usually have, they're really good but they're very gritty like you can taste like the ice in them. This one is very smooth like a milkshake and I like the texture a lot better. It's really good so um, support local businesses in town and try it out if you like frappuccinos. We had our coffee inside as you guys can see because it's a little chilly out. It's actually starting to warm up but we did want to show you the really cute seating area they have outside. They have these really pretty string lights, they have some nice chairs and when the sun is shining and the sky is blue and there's no clouds it's beautiful to sit out here and behind Mike we have the 12 steps that lead you down to Coffee Underground and back up to Main Street. finished our coffee at Coffee Underground, even though I'm still working on mine. So now we're gonna head to Sully Steamers for some awesome sandwiches. We're almost at Sully's, but we wanted to point out sticky fingers. If you're a fan of barbecue, this is a really, really great place in Greenville to get some. Um, we both had a barbecue brisket sandwich the last time we were here. So good. Mike's got the goods. We've got some goods in the bag and we've got a water to wash it down.
the Griswold sandwich and I believe it is turkey barbecue sauce, a parm peppercorn sauce, and it has bacon and provolone cheese. On a multi-grain bagel, they have many options to choose from with bagels, but I went with the multi-grain. All right, guys, I got the Nacho Maximus, and I'm gonna cheat to read what's in it. So you can pick your bagel. I picked an everything bagel. There was also a cheddar jalapeno, which I kind of wish I got that because I got the everything last time. But there's turkey, cheddar cheese, lettuce, I love chips on a sandwich. There is chips on the sandwich, Doritos. And I minused the Parmesan, peppercorn, and honey mustard because I don't like those. We got some pictures of our sandwiches for you guys, but we forgot to take a nice little video of them because we're starving. <laughs> and we're also a little pressed for time. We have to get Duncan. He's at the groomers, so we don't want to be too far from where we're picking him up because we don't want him sitting there all by himself for a little while. So we're kind of rushing, so bear with us. So a little uh, background information on Sully Steamers. They opened up in the heart of Greenville in March of 2013, and they offer a very unique sandwich, as you saw from us. They have a friendly atmosphere. The guy that gave us an order, he was great. He's very uh, personable and they have great prices. Sully's is a fast casual type of place. You could order online and eat inside or outside. So we did the online order, we grabbed our food, and then we came to Falls Park. One thing that's unique about the sandwiches at Sully's is they're steamed. So it's said that it's what brings all of the flavors together in the sandwich. Um, it keeps the bagel nice and soft and chewy and it's not hard and it gives it just a really unique taste. My favorite part about Sully's with the steamed sandwiches, like Mike said, <clears throat> it does bring all those flavors together really nicely and I like that it keeps it really nice and soft but you still have that like crunchy crisp on the outside but it's nice and soft where it doesn't hurt your teeth or it's like if it's like a toasted bagel and it's too hard. So that's my favorite part about it. I think our favorite part was all the dog bowls they had outside for all of our uh, furry friends. Um, for those of you who don't know, Greenville is a very dog friendly city. Um, if you come downtown you're probably going to see tons of dogs everywhere so if you're a dog lover bring your furry friend with you and uh, take them for a walk around. We just finished up our sandwiches, we had our coffee, now we're going to show you guys Falls Park. It is a 32 acre park here in downtown Greenville. It's located in the historic West End District. Fun fact about the park, it was actually founded in 1967. It was when the Carolina Foothills Garden Club reclaimed 26 acres of land that had previously been used by textile mills. So, let's go see the falls. One quick thing we're gonna tell you, you are gonna see a lot of signs saying, let's make Greenville, Cleanville, all around the city. It is one of the things that actually drew us to the city when we were looking at moving here because we've never seen a city this well kept and keep it clean. Throw your trash out. Don't litter. Keep it clean. thing about Falls Park is they have a pretty cool suspension bridge that spans the width of the park just over the falls and gives you a really awesome view from above the falls.
pretty high up, so if you have a fear of heights, I wouldn't recommend it, but I don't have a fear of heights, so it doesn't really bother me. We don't have a gimbal yet, or like a selfie stick, so we're just gonna hold the camera out. We were about to go get a treat, but we just got a call that Duncan's ready at the groomer, so we'll do that next time. Hi, hi, hello, hi, bud. Hi, hi, hello, hi. Are mm. you excited? Hi, feet, oh my goodness, hi. Duncan is very happy to see us. Are you happy? Duncan. Duncan likes to get the toes. Are you happy? Are you happy at home? Come here. Thanks for watching our video today, guys. We hope you enjoyed our little uh, breakfast eats in downtown Greenville. There's a lot more places in downtown Greenville to check out, um, but unfortunately we were pressed for time with Duncan to get back to the groomer to pick him up. Nice and So handsome. there's definitely more to check out than what we could have captured in this video, so explore and check it all out for yourself. Yep, there's lots of resources online. Um, I believe, yeah, that Greenville is the website. Yeah, I'm not completely sure. Either we'll yeah, link it. yeah, either yeah, that Greenville or visit Greenville. It's mm -hmm. one of those. So we'll put it in the video for you to reference. Um, there's a lot to do and to check out. Yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this coming soon. Yep, we have lots of travel videos coming for you guys. So definitely things you don't want to miss so we'll yeah. see you next time check it out we parked in the richardson we parked in the richardson's can we try that over okay i'm ready